Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is truly a way of life, and Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, I trust that this finds you feeling bright and blessed this morning and that you are ready for another portion from the Word of God. Now, today is August the 27th in the year of our Lord Jesus, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be found in the book of Titus, and we want to look at chapter 2, and let's begin at verse 11. Now it says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. So the grace of God is what brings salvation. Do you remember in Romans chapter 2 verse 4 it says, Do you despise the riches of his goodness and forbearance and longsuffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads thee to repentance? The grace of God brings salvation, as we're told in our text. Well, in verse 12, it continues saying, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we must deny them. They're not just going to go away. I mean, I've talked to people in the past and they say, well, I'm going to move to such and such place so I can get away from drugs and alcohol. No, you're not. Drugs and alcohol are wherever you go. Ungodliness is wherever you go. You must be the one that denies ungodliness and worldly lust. Now, friends, I can tell you, here's a good barometer for you to be able to tell what is a worldly lust. If the world celebrates it, if they accept it, if the majority approves of it, you should deny it. That's what the Word of God says. We are to look at the world, and if the world favors it, and it seems like the majority lean that direction, then we are to deny it. We are to abstain from it. Why? So that we should live soberly or moderately, righteously, and godly in this present world. So to deny worldly lust, to deny ungodliness, is what it means to live godly in this world. We are separated. As we're going to read in a moment, we are peculiar people. Why? Because we don't just go with the flow. We're swimming upstream, and we're denying what the rest of the world esteems. If you'll recall, Luke chapter 16, verse 15 says, That which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. So we're foregoing what is highly esteemed among the men of this world, and we're denying ourselves these worldly lusts, these self-pleasures, and we are living righteously and godly in this present world. Now, why are we doing this, you may ask? Verse 13, because we are looking for a blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, in your Bible, it's going to say great God and our Savior, but that word and is not in the original text. It actually reads, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity, all ungodliness, all worldly lusts, and we would be purified unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Now, good works aren't only those things that we do for others, but first and foremost, good works is what we do for God. And when God says, thou shalt not, we don't. And then the passage finishes by saying, these things speak and exhort, teach them, and rebuke others with all authority. And in your rebuking of them, let no man despise thee. Hold others up to the law of God, to the principles of God, to the judgments and statutes of God. And don't give them an opportunity to fall upon a crutch saying, well, I'm only human. Friends, the spirit of the living God lives within us and gives us the power to live righteously, to live godly, 
to live soberly, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts in this present world. Well, friends, I pray that this admonition, I pray that this encouragement has found a home in your heart, that you will carefully consider these things, looking into the Word of God, specifically Titus chapter 2, 11 through 15, and that you'll become a disciplined soldier for the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I love you, friends. Now, as he wills, and until next time, I'll see you on the next video.